it will be better that you know we isolate them a little bit out of the community la. It's not that we are not looking out on them la, because you know we are talking about you know, quite a fair bit of number of foreign workers. No? Not every one of them are educated or they they understand or they want to understand. They are taking it step by step. They oh okay whatever it is you know. Somebody is taking care of me, I just follow the flow, then we'll do. Recently, our government has announced that healthy migrant workers in essential services will be temporarily relocated to unused sites such as vacant schools and factories. Now, this has sparked intense debate on social media, including the rejection of migrant workers being housed in heartland neighbourhoods. I'm here in Tampines next to former Tiaonan Primary School to speak to the residents to see how they feel about the decision. I'm very worried, okay? Why? Because you see, uh, uh, there is still a very big question mark on community spreading. And especially at this area, there is a lot of senior citizens. We are concerned that you know they are congested in their quarters or so. So now the government is doing it better for them. But ultimately, it takes two hands to clap. They must have an understanding themselves. I <laughs> 不用怕的这种东西，怕什么？对吧？这种东西政府已经安排好了，一定没有事了，他才不派过来这边嘛。To be honest, I think it's because they are living an environment. They usually live in dorm, maybe one room there are six people to eight people living in. So I mean, it spreads easily lah. It's not because they are unhygienic at all. I believe because of the living condition they are in lah. Singaporean, I think you know they are well maintained. They are being educated also lah. But the foreign workers, you know. How far can we actually control them? Do they really understand, or not? especially you know the personal hygiene? Of course, you know we give them you know some benefit of doubt lah, because of their probably the culture and education. You know if somebody can implant to them the kind of understanding, uh, then it will help everybody. Even our local also some they are not hygiene also, especially over this area. There's a lady in the HDV, eight cats, you know, the smell is terrible. I have to say that, so we have to clean ourselves. People who talk about migrant workers who are smelly, dirty or whatever, I would say they don't really have that much humanity to think for the better of other people. I'm not surprised that people are flaming this. Some people are just afraid to say what they want to say, so they have to be anonymous, so that's fine. I mean, without sounding cliché, we are all people, right? I mean, any social media especially gives people too much authority and make people feel empowered to voice out on a lot of issues. Especially whatever that is trending lah. This thing, we for we need to have more Because they are very they will come to our Singapore. If we don't see them, it is impossible. I do If our children go abroad to work, the foreigners treat our children like you are if I'm being honest, I'm actually surprised by the conversations we've had with the residents here, who are most affected by the move. The reception to migrant workers seemed to be mostly positive, as opposed to the hate expressed online. And this got me really thinking. Why do extreme and negative comments only manifest online? Is it that easy to get sucked into an echo chamber of hate, when there is a veil of anonymity and a lack of physical interaction online? But let's not allow this to distract us from the bigger picture. I think a little compassion and humanity would benefit everyone, especially during these difficult times.